Well, good afternoon. This is Stella. She and I are here to say happy April Fool's Day to you. Um, we are grateful that it's now into April and March is behind us. We hope April will be better than March was. But we are very, very grateful for all the work that everybody has done to make the transition into these new uncharted times smooth for our students and, um, and as painless as possible. I uh, hope you're able to enjoy this beautiful day uh, out there today, uh, despite having to keep social distances from everybody. Um, this, uh, the irony of a community coming together and expressing itself as a community by staying apart is uh, not lost on me, but it is very, very gratifying to see our ability to do it. Um, full confession, this is the first time I've had a tie on in about three weeks, um, but I wanted to uh, say hello to folks and uh, to thank you for your inquiries after my health. Uh, I'm happy to report that I have been pretty much symptom free for about a week or more and uh, maybe occasional cough, but nothing too serious. Um, we have some important um, information that uh, Provost Russ Mayer is going to deliver to you and then I'll be back after that. Thank you, Dr. Mannion. I'm here today to inform everyone about some important changes that we're making in Marion University's academic policies this semester. We're extending the length of the semester by a week from May 8th to May 15th, and we're also providing students with the option of taking one or more of their classes this semester pass-fail, an option we're calling satisfactory unsatisfactory. We're making these changes to allow faculty the time and space to deliver to the learning outcomes that we've established and to give students the opportunity to focus on the important work of learning. We're working on details on these policies and will be in communication over the next couple of weeks. As you all know, one of Marion University's core values is community. And in challenging times like this, it's important that we come together to make these kinds of adjustments, to do everything that we can to support the academic, professional, and personal success of our students. Back to you, Dr. Mayne. Thank you, Russ. Uh, thank you for that important information. And again, this is, you know, these are adjustments that we're making uh, so that our students will be held as harmless as possible in this um, unusual set of circumstances that we find ourselves in. Uh, so thank you all for all the work that you're doing, for the adjustments that you've made, for your continued patience. Uh, we are looking forward to getting together again, and we will be doing that as soon as we can. Uh, but in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and say goodbye, Stella. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.